Let's dive into the delicate art of making a hot chocolate souffle with a vanilla creme anglaise. This dessert has a deep sentiment of value in my life that I'll share later in the video. But for now, what I will tell you is that this dish is as impressive as it is delicious. Let's get going. Achieving a smooth base is essential to a good souffle. When you're making your creme patisserie, whisk vigorously, as you see here, to avoid lumps. You wanna make sure that this mixture is smooth as silk, because it serves as the flavor foundation of our souffle. quality can also make or break your souffle. Use a good quality dark chocolate that's at least 70% cocoa for a rich, intense flavor. The cocoa percentage not only enhances the taste, but it also affects the texture of the souffle. cooking your creme patisserie to get that thick consistency that really gives body to the souffle. You need to be careful about bringing that heat up too fast, scrambling those eggs and getting it all stuck to the bottom of your pan. So be gentle with the heat. And just when it's pouring out about like a cake, that's when you know it's right. For the hot chocolate portion of this souffle, it's going to be very simple. It's just melted 70% cocoa, cocoa powder, and a mixture of heavy cream and a little bit of milk. start to mix this, it's not going to look good. It's not going to look like this in the very beginning. It's going to look very lumpy. Don't worry about that. Keep whisking, keep whisking, keep whisking, and you'll get there. Now, as we combine our creme patisserie with our hot chocolate mix, we bring it to this consistency here, and this is what will whip into our egg whites. Proper preparation of your dishes is crucial. Generously butter these bad boys and coat them with fine organic cane sugar. This not only prevents sticking, but it adds an extra layer of crunch to that exterior when the soft center is just right. get into these egg whites. This is the soul of the souffle, which brings it all to life. Whisk these to soft peaks and then gradually add in that sugar to stabilize them. When you're folding your chocolate mixture into your egg whites, it's crucial that you retain as much air as possible. Be gentle, fold it. Fold the cheese, David, fold the cheese. This ensures that your souffle rises beautifully. If you knock all the air out of this thing, it's gonna crater, and then it's gonna look like a dense donut. Use a folding motion like this that cuts through the mixture while turning the bowl and turning the egg whites over and over until it's evenly blended without deflating the eggs and it should be perfect. When 
you're filling your dishes, let's just fill them three quarters initially, not all the way to the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tap them to remove any air pockets to make sure we have a good connection on all sides. After we fill them up three quarters of the way, we will later come back and top them off. Now we're going to swipe off the top like that to get that really smooth, flat top. I like to use a uh, frosting thing. I don't know what that thing's called. You see it. I don't know what it is. It works really well. Get one. Otherwise, just use a knife. Use a bench scraper, something like that. And then wipe off those edges with your finger to make sure that none of that chocolate is in contact with the edge so you get a smooth rise. Now our crew and glaze is going to be very simple. It's just five eggs that we already have for making the souffles, so we're just reusing those. Sugar, vanilla, heavy cream, and milk. A lot of people want to try to use a double boiler when they're making creme anglaise. You can. It's really not necessary. Of course, you can heat it up more smoothly that or more gently that way, but it's again, it's not necessary. Just be very attentive. Let's check on our souffles and they are looking gorgeous. I think it's time to take them out of the oven. This dessert, it's, it has a deep sentimental value in my life. During my first trip to San Francisco, I told my wife I wanted us to have a very special dinner. We found this restaurant near the wharf called Gary Danko. And the dinner we had was unlike any I'd ever experienced, with the finale being a hot chocolate souffle, the first one I had ever had, and I fell in love. This dessert is now my most requested dish from friends and family, and it always brings me so much joy to see how much they love it as well. Enjoy. <laughs>